nice to the alum. The Hebrew Israelites come week in and week out. The promise of the downfall and destruction of American Babylon and Great. I tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you're the biblical Israelites. It's time for you to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? You see all these different things going on out here in the world. Okay? The wicked still being the wicked. Right? Jake still being Jake doing his own thing, doing what he want to do. See, what Jake don't understand is and salvation is nigh, destruction is nigh too. You see? It, it, it goes hand in hand. Because our salvation goes with the destruction of America, Babylon, and Great. It goes with the destruction of wickedness, right? Whether it goes with the destruction of the wicked, which is E, okay? Starting with the 1948ers, and, and, and the wicked Jakes. You know? And the wicked Jakes. I'll, I'll start with this the book of. Uh, For well, the Romans, 13, verse 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now is a high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe, man. So that's why we tell our people it's time for them to repent, man. Right? Repent. Return, O backsliding daughter, man. Speaking to you Israelites. Okay? Because our salvation is nearer than we believe. Okay? But with our salvation nearer than what we believe, because we hope to be of the hopeful elect. We hope to be a uh, uh, part of that remnant that's being saved. But then, uh, can you grab uh, Zechariah 13 and, 13 and 8? Because with salvation, you have, you have destruction coming too. All right? And a lot of people tend to forget that as well. Let's go to, uh, let's go to the book of 2 Ezra. Yeah. The book of 2 Ezra. Two. It's locked, you know. Second Ezra 4, verse 27, it says, I'll start at 26. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel, for the world hates the past to pass away. And cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmity. Can somebody give me uh, Isaiah 60? Right, the world is uh, uh, the world is covered with gross darkness. I'll read uh, uh, 27 again. It says, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. Yeah. Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, mm. and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Right, so, so we see the gross, dark, the, the gross darkness is covering the earth, man. The gross darkness is covering the people. Okay? We see that. These, these people have been blocked. From the light. See, we know Yahweh Shai is that light, man. Okay, Yahweh Shem Shai be that light. Okay, and when you people, you know, make a, a statement like, uh, you know, like your brother did a response video to, to that I uh, did this morning, uh, I'd rather be a nigga, right? That's stemming from, you know, basically he was learning how different celebrities were speaking up of us being the true biblical Israelites, okay? Us being the Jews of the Bible. And he said, with all that being said, right? Are you telling me that we have to read the Bible? So-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man and woman, and children, right? The answer is yes, but he said, I'd rather be a nigga. So people like that with that with that mentality, they are covered in gross darkness, okay? And, 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 and their judgment is going to be destruction if they don't repent. John 3 and 19, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, man. Because they want to continue in their wickedness, man. Okay? They don't They don't want to uh, do righteousness. They don't want to take on the responsibility of being an Israelite, man. You know? They don't want to accept Yahweh man, which is representative of this, uh, of this truth, man. You know? That's why uh, 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 when it talks about these different, um, these different uh, 
people who speak about the Bible, right? Uh, Isaiah 8 and 20 it says, uh, uh, um, the, uh, if they speak not of, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in it, right? When you get that in different translations, like, uh, for example, in Spanish, the, the word is literally translated in Spanish because the sun has not dawned on them or the light has not shined on them, man. So, hey, these, these people are in darkness, man. And they they rather they rather stay in darkness because it's pleasurable, man. Mm. You know? Okay. John uh, 3 and 20. For everyone that doeth evil hate the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So Jacob would rather be, uh, you know, hiding in, in secret, which really, like the scriptures say, the eyes of uh, such a man uh, fear of only the eyes of, of men, okay? But know if not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men. Okay, so the most I see is everything that you do anyway. Okay, but these men still would rather go and, and, and be in what you call darkness. You see? Because a part of this truth is allowing yourself to be uh, judged and reproved by other men of the Lord and corrected. You see? The well, men don't want to be corrected. They hate if him they rebuke you from the gate. Okay? The niggas don't want to hear what they doing is wrong. So they'll rather say, no, nah, I'd just rather be a nigga. What you mean I got to read the Bible? You mean I got to get convicted? By, 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 by seeing the scriptures that tell me that what I'm doing is wrong? Mm. Nah, nigga, I'd rather keep going on in my English. Man. Amos 5 and 10, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Yeah, they abhor him, meaning to like what? Avoid. You see, they avoid him that speaketh uprightly. See, and you see that a lot of times, man. They'll put on their headphones, they'll walk across the street, they'll walk behind, they'll duck, duck underneath the camera. You see, they don't want to be a part of this thing, man. They don't want to hear it. Proverbs 29, verse 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. You see? So, hey, man, you know, they're opposing forces, man. And one of them can't stand the other, man. We can't stand to see the wicked, man. You know, we're vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. But likewise, we are a reproof unto them. You see? Like the wicked said concerning the elect and also speaking on Yahweh Shah, he is grieving this grievous unto us even to be old. You see? So they can't stop and go them Hebrew and like niggas. They think they know something. You see? Because they know when you come over here, you're gonna get the truth of the most high, and it's gonna be gritty, man. It's like getting rubbed by sandpaper. You know? A new layer is gonna get exposed. Second right. Timothy. 3 verse 16 all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction and righteousness that the man of the most high may be perfect through the furnished into all good works all scripture man all of it old and new testament and apocrypha you see and it's good for reproof for correction for rebuke man you know that's a big part of this thing is rebuke man Open love is uh, uh, open rebuke is better than secret love, man. Mm. This is how we show love to our to our to to our uh, people, man. That's right. You know, but they say, "Oh, you hate us. You hate your brother." No, man. We showing you that if you don't repent, you're gonna die. That's right. What better love is it than that? We putting our life on the line to let you know that if you don't change, you're gonna lose your fucking life. Right. Right. Galatians four verse sixteen. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? <laughs> Hey man, and that's and that's that's truer, man. That's that's the truest thing he ever wrote, <laughs> so to speak, man. Because like I said, he that departed from evil, making himself a prey, man. Ooh. And from departing from evil, by doing that, we're we're openly telling you to repent from your deeds, man. Right. We're crying aloud and sparing not. This is a part of repenting from evil, is to reprove the deeds of, of darkness, man. That's right. You see? That's right. But because of that, we become your enemy. Go ahead, bro. Galatians 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth, they zealously affect you, but not well. Yea, they would exclude you that you might affect them. But, it's, but it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing, and not only when I am present with you. You know? So, hey, man, you want to be doing the work, man. You, you don't, you don't want to be half-stepping, right? You don't want to be just doing things you know, just because it's a... Uh, to be seen of men, so to speak. You know? You want to be trying to do this thing because this is what you're serious about. You know? You're doing it in sincerity. You're doing it in truth. You're doing it because 
you ultimately want to be saved. Now you want salvation. But you're not put, as people say in the world, you're not putting on a front. Okay? Because if you put on a front, hey, the Lord know you putting on a front. You can stand up here and pretend it and trade like you is, uh, you know, like a lot of these, these uh, leaders in Israel, like they're just, like they're the shit. Okay? But going back to the point, you know, hey, hey, our people would exclude us, man. You know, our people don't want to be around us, man. What, you know, they don't they don't want their, their wicked deeds reproved. Hey, that's why, you know, when you first start coming into the truth, man, you be so hot, you be on fire, you just want to tell your people the truth because when you start to learn this knowledge, you be so excited, you like, oh my goodness, this is what I have been looking for my whole entire life. I, I knew I was looking for something, but I didn't know what it was. This is it. So now you're like, okay, shit. You want to tell our people, yo, we're not black, yo. You know we ain't black, you know who the Israelites? You know who they call Jesus Christ? Do you know he's a so-called black man? And you be so happy because this devil that told us he was raised you know, thinking that the Lord been a cracker, man. So when you learn it, you just you know that's just an example. When you learn that information, you like, I want to tell my people. You know? And just like the story he made last week, uh, uh you know, when a brother was uh, dealing with us. Uh, uh he talking about he was trying to show his cousin the truth. Just like, oh man, we don't want to hear none of that shit, man. I don't know what the fuck you on. Excuse my friend. You keep doing that what you doing that one at your time. But we chilling, bro. We we comfortable in our leaves. See, so Jake, Jake don't want to be uh, included with us or be around us because how we are, bro. Or our spirit is different. You know, you come to a coke out, Jake gonna be like, oh shit, here go, here go this. What, what he about to tell us now? Yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. And the scripture, it also said they jealously affect you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but it's good to be jealously affected in a good work. So it's basically like going into being personal to the righteous mistake. You know? Because another flip side of that is not only would they look at you to separate you from a calm standpoint, but you'll get persecuted, man. They'll out in that Hebrew Israelites. People come up to you like Bo Malone and other little uh, overzealous Christians. You know, so-called Christians. Uh, y'all wrong, y'all teach this, y'all teach that. Even other Israelite camps, you know? Well, uh, well, 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 uh, what is the word? Well, uh, slander the truth, man. Slander the men of the Lord. Like Bishop Nate did in that little video. Where he, he, he cherry-picked and selected little different scenarios and put them on the video. These men, these men preach Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And then he picked the worst of the worst clips he could damn near pick. Of, of, of some of them dudes who ain't even in the truth no more. Most of them. Most of them. Most right? of them are not even in. Right, and then and then he tried to uh, frame the apostles' responses and, and, and things to different situations in a bad light. You see? Zealously affected even by our own people, man. You know? But at least it's for righteousness sake, man. You know? I got Hosea 4, 6. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast for forgotten the law of thy power. That's right. Man. So, so, Jake's man, right? Like it says, but we have been we have been made a nation of what? Kings and priests. See? So our people reject knowledge. How, how can y'all be put up, right, as leaders of Israel without the true knowledge of the Most High? How would, the, how would that be possible? Possible. See? Y'all don't have nothing to measure with. Y'all have no filter, right? Y'all don't have no uh, right, for, right from wrong. See? So how, how could y'all be leaders? How could y'all be leaders? How can you, you take Jake to the next level? Meaning the next level of... Uh, 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 being close to the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they don't have no guidelines, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a brother just made a post, like all these different uh, so-called leaders of our people, man. Bro, these like, like, uh, are they getting you near to the Most High? Right? They can talk about money. They can talk about putting certain monies in the communities. They can talk about uh, uh, building playgrounds. All that shit is folly, bro. 
All that, all that money that they say they put back in, that's folly. Building playgrounds in our neighborhoods, right? And, and to, to, the, to the simple out of the world, they like, oh, that's good. They build a playground or they donate them food. They have no uh, bike drives and all that, which that that's okay. I'm not saying that's that's not okay, but that ain't doing. That ain't gonna get nobody. You say that ain't turning people back to the Most High. That ain't doing none of that, man. That ain't doing none of that. Even with the money they got, they ain't building uh, communities. Even with that, that's still not turning Jake back to your how about him, y'all shy, man. You see, it's still not turning them back to the truth. So once again. Are people without the true knowledge and understanding, right? Because what? They're in a congregation of the dead. You see? So how can you be a priest to the Lord? How can you be a king to the Lord? You you don't have that what? That that mentality. You see? Because we know priests are to be what? Separate, holy. Even a king, even a king has a uh, has understanding, right? What is saying? Um, what is that? Uh, king king's supposed to know the law, man. Right? You can't yeah. just be, and plus he has to be from our nation. You can't just be anybody in the world. Speak yeah. louder, bro. Speak louder, bro. Say that again. Speak louder. I said, yeah, our king's supposed to know the law. Mm -hmm. You know, he has to be trained up in the law in order to judge correctly the nation of Israel, man. What else? Right, and, and, and he has to be of our nation. Deuteronomy 17, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose, one from thy one from among thy brethren. Shall thou set king over thee? Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. But he, right, man. So hey, you, the only people, the only person, uh, people that can rule over the nation of Israel is an Israelite. You know, not from, not someone from another nation. So you know, they going to these different uh, elections and stuff over. That's wicked, bro. Because none of those presidents up there are from our nation, man. Seem like don't seem like number nothing. Seems like we never had a candidate. You know what I mean? By those by those criteria, we as far as my knowledge, by those criteria, we never had a candidate that could even be considered as valid. I ain't seen no Israelites on no you know what I mean on no ballot in my lifetime. You know? Right. Um, verse sixteen it says. Uh, I'll I'll just jump to the point. It says. Verse 18, and it shall be when he sitteth up, so I can sit up upon the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write him a copy of this law in a book out of that which is before the priests, the Levites, and it shall be with him, and he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn, that he may learn to fear the Lord, his power, to keep all the words of this law and these statutes to do them that his heart that his heart be not lifted up above his brethren and that he turn not aside from the commandment to the right hand or to the left to the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom he and his children in the midst of Israel right man so hey to be a king over Israel you have to know the law man the kings were trained up in the law okay why do you think uh, 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 King Solomon asked the Lord for wisdom to judge so great a people, which was the nation of Israel, man? Right. So, hey, hey, part of part of that uh, that, that, that kingly mindset was was the law, man. Yeah, going back into the scriptures, bro. Mm -hmm. You know. Now we know. I want to comment on that scripture too. So, like I said, also too, that he make a copy of that law, that he magnify himself not above his brethren. You know what I'm saying? Because you. It gives you guidelines. It gives you a standard. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it tells you that the greatest of you be as a servant. You know, what was what did he ask for? He asked for knowledge so he could serve the people, basically. So he could judge them properly. So he can guide them so properly. He can guide them properly. You see, that was a very uh, humble mindset to have. Rather than, because like I said, you didn't ask for riches. You didn't ask to be increased with more land and this and that. No, you asked for the knowledge to judge the people, man. Mm. You see? So that's 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 what the, the scriptures represent as well, man. Kind of going back into what we were saying about niggas don't want that. They don't want to hold themselves to a better hey, standard, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, y'all good, man. Go ahead. Hey, thanks. Love you. Hey, man. Man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm too, man. You too. Isaiah, Isaiah 9 and 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that they that are led of them are destroyed, man. You see, because these people are not their true guides, man. 
see, our people weren't guided by who? These different celebrities. Okay? These different celebrities which are leading them straight to the pitch. You see, not even just these different celebrities, these false prophets, okay, and even among Israel. Even among Israel, you got that too. You know? But the point is, our people don't want the, the true guidance. Our people don't want the true counsel, man. Which come from the men of the Lord that serve as the prophets, man. To even show you the extent of how much uh, two-thirds of the house of Israel don't want to do righteousness. The Lord even been putting it on the spirit on these Israelites, these celebrities, to come out and talk about it. And niggas still reject it. Yep. Like that post bro did on it, uh, that I did a response to. Kendrick Lamar came out and said, uh, Kent, you know, these different people he put on the list. And he's still like, nah, I'd rather be a nigga. Yeah. They're supposed to be, them the leaders that y'all really follow for real. But when it comes to this word, two thirds are just so opposed. It don't matter who's saying to them. Their ears is closed. You know, their hearts are, are heavy. Back at the whole day of four, we still got that Zachariah. Yes. Uh, yeah, Jose of four, one time. Zechariah 13 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Most High, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, right. but the third shall be left therein. Right, so when I was talking about the salvation and destruction. Destruction, okay? You know, our, the salvation is coming for our people, man. So we're warning our people. We're letting them know, like, hey, you know, you're an Israelite, so you may have a chance at salvation. You, you may have a chance at salvation. You know? But we know majority of our people are what? They're going to be destroyed, man. See? Man. Go ahead, bro. Say four. Hosea 4 and verse 6. Yep. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. For, see, for thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, man. You know, and I wanted to say, you know, it's not all about the law. You see, because now we, we move into the spirit, man. We move through the spirit. Now, are we saying the law is done away with? No. Okay? But a lot of things is, is spiritual now. Okay? A lot of things is spiritual. You know? We, it's, we still establish the law. You see? Because that's 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 part. Okay? Say, try to say it right. That's part of our foundation. Coming back to our heritage of who we are. That, that's, what, that's what we learn. Like, hold on. I'm not supposed to do this. I'm going to have to cut that out. I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm going to have to cut that out. That's part of the foundation. Zephaniah 2 and 3. This is what we tell the two-thirds, man, and all of our people. Oh, for that one, brother. Zephaniah 2. All right, in verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. And that's all we saying. That's all we saying. Telling our people to gather together, O nation, not desire. See? But Jake still think that uh, they're a nation that is desire. But they can't shout out the other nation. How, it been this long and Jake still can't tell, can't, you know, or Jake still don't know that the other nation hates him. I mean, I just don't get it. Especially E, when Jake be telling you, oh, you know, it ain't all E. What are you talking about? Now, from the standpoint of it might not be all E because the color aspect, let me break that down for you people don't understand that because every so-called white person ain't white, see? So you might see a so-called white person that might be cool, it might be chilling, and you're like, oh, okay, they cool, they might be just like you. That might be of your people, lineage-wise. But all Edomites are wicked. All of them are the devil for the Bible. Hey, man, that's, that's the correct way to say it, man. We've been taught to, uh, we've been taught to judge by appearance, man. Mm, right. We've been taught to judge based upon skin color, okay, texture, hair, this and that. Right. You know? But that doesn't decide your nationality. Right. That's why all Edomites are wicked, bro. Right. That's the correct way to say it. You got chocolate covered Edomites. Exactly. You got Edomites that look like Asians. Right. You got Edomites that look like uh, Rico Suave. Red and yellow, black and white. Yeah, you still some Edomites. Yeah, man. <laughs> Lydia's go back to it. Right. That's right. But all Edomites are wicked, man. Right. right. Uh, matter of fact. Right. Yeah, I just keep reading this. Have an idea. It's a lot good. Back to it, Zephaniah 2 and 2. Before the decree bring forth, mm. before the day pass as the chaff. 
before the fierce anger of the Most High come upon you, before the day of Yahweh's anger come upon you. And this is why we're warning our people. We're letting our know. See, before uh, any place was destroyed, the Heavenly Father came out and sent his prophets like, okay, warn the people. Let them know what's about to go down. Hey, that's what we're doing. We're letting our people know that what's about to go down. We're letting them know that death, famine, destruction, race wars, World War III, all that's about to go down. FEMA camps, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. All that is about to go down. So we're warning our people. Like the brothers say, hey, this is the love of our people. We Look, we have made our bodies a living sacrifice. See, Jake, see, people walk past this with a naked eye and say, oh, you know, those guys on the street corners are just wearing the dresses, so to speak, uh, preaching the Bible. They don't know what they're talking about. Or they're, or they're just saying this or just saying that. But these things are happening, man. Things are happening. Proph prophecy is happening. We're letting you know these things that's coming, man, which we're about to get into, man. We're letting you know that this crafty wickedness that this devil is about to pour upon us is happening, man. And this is happening. But people still think, oh, Oh, there, there's no, there's no such thing. As, there's no such thing as meme accounts. There, there's no way the government will do that. There's no way the government will uh, vac try to vaccinate the whole world. They wouldn't do that to us. Hey, man. Uh, hey, hey, that's why you gotta look up words, man. The word government means control mind, man. Yes. Right. So the government right. controls your mind through uh, uh, different aspects, man. Right, right. TV. You know, they make you think that all conspiracy are just theories. Right, but there's actual conspiracies right. going on, man. Even when you think of magic or as witchcraft, they, they think of the cartoon type like Sabrina, you know, with the spells and the potions and all that. They think that shit's fake, They bro. think it's fake, you see? But when you go into witchcraft, when you go into a, a mind hypnotizing and things like that, this is real deal, man. And this this is this is bigger than what you, you, you would have ever thought of, you know? But these are just things we speak on. But all this is coming and we're telling our people to what? Seek you the Lord, man. Before what? Destruction comes. Go ahead, bro. Read verse 2 again. Matter of fact, hey, brother, where you at when it's time, bro? I'm Puerto Rican, brother. There you go. Puerto Rican? Yeah. I'm Puerto Rican. What is it? He is fruitful. Yeah, he is fruitful. Because I have a lot of children. Hey, that's yeah. why they that's why they call it. That's stereotype people, true as hell. <laughs> That, that was prophesied in the Bible. It says it is a fruitful bow, yeah. even climbing over the wall, meaning you have many children. Many children. And, and, and that word bow is actually son. Yeah. He's a fruitful son. Yeah. And you have many, you know, many children, many offspring. Right. Right. So that's that's one of the identifiers that let us know that Puerto Ricans are the children of Ephraim. You see? Yeah, well, it's all spiritual, yeah, yeah, we all spiritual. We all brothers and sisters. And, you know, we might have a little skirmishes amongst each other, which has been set up through the, uh, what is that, the, what is that, uh, Willie Lynch yeah. letters and all that, yeah. which they put us all against each other, but through the spirit, hey, brother, we all, brothers and sisters, we all coming back together, together through the Most High, man. You know, which real name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shah. We all coming back together in the same spirit. This is why you see uh, brothers and brothers, okay, on the street corners all together, of all the tribes. You know, some brothers Puerto Rican, Negroes, Mexicans, all of us, you know. So we we are brothers, but our message is to tell our people to repent and return back to the Lord. The true Lord, man, the true Heavenly Father, and, and his true Son, man, and his true name. The, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Who the world do not think, who the world do not fear. You know, when you know these people preach of you know God and Jesus, you know, they preach that. But the energy behind them is it, just, it's not this, bro. Oh, no. It's not this. They portray it as it is, but when you look deeply into it, if you, you got enough understanding, you'll be like, okay, they, 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 they got to be talking about a different God. They got to be talking about a different Savior. You know? When you, when you actually hear these speak, you know, so that's our message, you know? The instruction is coming. You see the things that's going on today, bro? It's crazy. You know, it, 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 it's crazy. You know, uh, most people's senses just say something ain't right. Something ain't right. You know, even if they don't know what it is, their minds just say something is not right. But then you got a lot of our people that are what? Hypnotized, right? Caught up in this false reality. Caught up in this spirit. They're not paying attention to the things that's going on. They're not paying attention to things like bees are about to be extinct. Serious that is? Right. Give me um, um, Isaiah 24. You know how serious that is with bees being extinct? Right. 
There's no fruit for the plants if oh, yeah. bees don't pollinate. pollinate the, yeah. It's through. Even more than fruit. Certain hey. certain flowers. Yeah. yeah, bro. It's summertime and you barely you barely see any uh, any lightning buzz in there. Right? Yeah. Right, right, you see right, about right. one or two. Right. I got a I got a precept backing up what the bro was saying about you know just how how the state of our people. Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord saith, for as much as his people draw near me with their mouth mm. and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Mm. So, you're, you know, our people are really big on the Bible. You know, they're really big on Jesus, which that's not his name. They're really big on, on church and things like that. But, but, their, but their fear towards the Most High is not taught according to what the Word actually says. It's taught according to what their pastor says. What the establishment says, which is wrong, you know. So they're drawing nigh to the Most High with lip service. You know, we love God. I love God. What do you mean? I'm a Christian. But when you go to the Scripture, then you, well, do you do this? Do you abstain from this? Right. No, I ain't no, because they've been taught wrong. Right. right? Do you do you try to do this? Right. Our people don't even try. They don't even acknowledge to give the try because it it has already been put in their minds to the go ahead of you know what, do whatever you feel. Right? Do whatever you want. You're good. That's just like if you got children, right? You they can do whatever they want. There's just no discipline. None at all. So your kid, so if your child know that you don't do no give no discipline, he knows he can do whatever that you know, he knows he can do whatever he wants. Because why? You're not gonna do anything. And, and this is with E, right? He's E, the so-called white man, which is the he's Esau according to the Bible. This is what he has taught and told our people, you know? Because he knows, he knows this, Isaiah 59, verse two, it says, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue have muttered perverseness. So the point is, he knows that us doing things against the Lord, things contrary to the Lord of what he does not like, right? It's keeping us from the Lord. He knows these different things. He knows eating uh, different food that we're not supposed to eat keeps us from the Lord. But not only keep us, keeps us from the Lord, but it destroys our body. It destroys our body, you know, different things, and idols, you know, uh, a lot of things. He knows this. So what does he do? He pushes it, the vibration heavy, upon these people on this sign. Not just here in America. We're talking about globally, okay? Globally, these people on this sign are all going through the same exact thing. All of them. We're talking about uh, uh, a couple celebrities like Snoop Dogg or... Pit bull, right? Because they keep it. They're, just, they're, they're, they're being successful and entertainers in this world. But as a whole, I just be want to say, through. We are through as a nation. So believe it or not, we're all family on this side. All of us. Hey, that's why the scripture says Judah and uh, uh, Jerusalem will press together. Press together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Judah representing, you know, the so called Negroes, man. The Haitians. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the West Indians, all right, the Negroes, all right, and, Eve, uh, and, and Jerusalem is representing the so-called native tribes, right? The, you know, the Puerto Ricans, the, 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 the North American Indians, okay, the Seminole Indians, okay, all the indigenous people of the Americas, man. Yep. So we were all oppressed, man. We, hey, we all went into slavery, man. Judah might have had it, uh, Judah had it worse than, than the brother kingdom, but we all went into slavery, man. We all, the white man has his foot in all of our blood. But why though? Get why? Get why we, that happened to us. Why we all went into slavery. You see? Why Christopher, Christopher, Christopher Columbus and, and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Dominic. All right, gentlemen, much love, man. Say you on, man. What, uh, Sir. Well, whatever was named Dr. Santo Domingo, I think it was named, was, uh, uh, was I forget, but whatever, I forget his name. Well, however it happened, all of these people have went through the same atrocities because we we broke in the, the covenant with the Lord, man. Right, and, and uh, like the bro made a statement earlier about 
uh, these people know that by keeping us in sin, they separate us from our power. Mm -hmm. You know, now if you look in the Bible. You know, uh, these people have done studies on the Bible. You know, uh, the Bible is pretty. It's almost popular culture, or it has been for a long time, where references will be made and you know jokes and different stuff like that. So these people know the stories of the Bible. Now they can, they also have proven and done research that these prophecies and these different things, these different historical events, actually happen. You know, they found different sites and, and different relics to prove that this stuff happened. So if you have proof that all this power that this God, you know, in the Bible has done, and you found out that these were the people, okay, and that they were created to be ruling over you, what would you do, you know, if, if, if you were the wicked? You would keep them in the downtrodden. So when we say certain things, our people look at it like, no, that couldn't be. But, right. but the Bible tells us different songs. It's like when they was talking about, oh, not to cut you off, but, Go ahead, bro. but when they was talking about um, the walls of Troy, Mm -hmm. And how they discovered, and they thought that was bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, how, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and then they discovered that shit. And it's like, you know, like now it's like when you read that about the horns in the Bible that broke the walls out, like, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? So it kind of sparks interest into what people kind of try to discredit. You know what I'm saying? Like, from history. Right. And a lot, and before you get that, a lot of the things they want to discredit, they, they, do, and they, and they keep a lot for themselves. They discredit some, but they keep a lot for themselves. Like, even with dealing with Troy, uh, Spartans. Um, what's, what's the other movie they, they take on? Oh, the, the Vikings. Um, what a, uh, yeah, Hannibal. Yeah, a, a lot of these historical events, these, these big battles, a lot of that was our people. That was our people doing all that. But they took it. They, you know, they whitewashed right. it. And now to the world, when you see the different movies, it's publicized as. Oh, we were the great people of Troy, right. or we was the great... Like the black Greeks and things like yeah, that. They don't teach that history no, about absolutely that type of not. shit. Yeah, for sure. You can't yeah. do that, because yeah, sure. why would you do that? Right, right. Now, now you, you are... Now you're empowering you're, the people. You're giving credence to, to what, what, right. being the, what the truth is. Right, yeah. right. Why would you help tear down white supremacy if you created it right. the white supremacy? Right, why, why give them an idea of an identity to why, go back to? Why give them the identity and the idea to go back and say, well, wait a minute. We, we, we weren't just slaves. They were saying, wait a minute. Because when they talk about so-called Puerto Ricans and, and, and uh, you know, so-called Indians, right, North American Indians and things like that, what do they say about us? You know what they say about us? Oh, they were just savages. Right. They were just looking lawless. They were just running around naked. They didn't know what they was doing. Well, wait a minute. What do you think about the Aztecs, the Mayans, the, uh, the other ones? The Aztecs, Mayans. The Incas. The Incas, right? Flourish establishment, flourishing. But when he got over there, what did he do? Destroyed everything. He killed, destroyed, and enslaved everything, right? And then, you know, when you think about all that, and I'm saying all that, why is that important? Because that was a part of the, the destruction of our heritage. You know, we, when you when you take somebody uh, from their establishment, what they lose? They lose a lot of their customs. A, over a period of time, once the, the grandparents and them die off, they pass it down to their kids, and then after a while, it's like, it, it, it fades away. So I say all that for the brother to read this. Right, and, and, and uh, just to back the bro up, a little statement. Why would you allow them to go back to their true identity when you've worked so hard to give them one? Woo! Right, right. He's worked so hard to give us a false identity. Woo. Why would you then let us find out who we really are? Can you, somebody give me prompt, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 37? You, you already on Deuteronomy? Read that, brother. Yeah. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 20. and verse 37. Yeah. And thou shalt become an astonishment, right. a proverb, uh -huh. and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Right, so when you think about these people on this time, right, none of these people are called by their biblical names. None of them. So like you said, they call you Puerto Rican. What does that, what does, what does that go back to? Who, who, who gave y'all that name? Rich port on some Rich port, wow, right. because it was a rich yeah, harvesting land. Yeah, exactly. right. So you calling us a rich port that you come and took your soul? Yep. Right. Wait, I ain't those people. Really, you what? You uh, uh, uh well, we can say Ephraim, but it's in the Hebrews, a party, meaning what? A fruitful people. The Lord actually gave us names that had a meaning, uh, a beautiful meaning. But then you going to come and say we got a rich port, a rich land, and take it there. Right. Then call us out. Then that. call us that, yeah, right. But according to the Bible, it says what? You know, uh, we, will be, we, will, we will be called a proverb and a byword amongst all these nations. So we ain't, we ain't, that's a curse to our people. We ain't called our beautiful names, right? 
Now we're called these names, Puerto Rican. Really? That's offensive. Right. That, those, the, all these names are offensive. Why? Because we are not those names. Right. We're, we're the beautiful names that the Lord gave us. Yeah. Yeah, African American or what, what we like. Uh, that's two. That's two. Uh, that's two. Edomites. Yeah, right. Two so-called Caucasians: Amerigo Vespucci and uh, Leo Scipio Africanus. That's right. right. Man. Wait right. a minute. We two white men now. Right, it's right, it's right. the same for these different Latin American countries, man. Right. You got Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. Got the, uh, they call them Cristobal Colon yeah. or uh, Columbus. I'm like, that's like you calling yourself after after a devil, basically. That, that, yeah. He's not even. He's not even of your lineage, man. Know? So he's trying to put his name on you, like he like he owns you, man. I conquered this land, so I'm gonna call it Colombia. Colombia. My name is Columbus. So I'm gonna call it Colombia. Yeah. Or or, or uh, Venezuela, which is named after Venezuela, man. Yeah. So like, you know, and that's, the scriptures say that, man. Yeah. They they uh, they oppress a man even his heritage. I got it. I got it. Well, I got this. Uh, Psalm 49 and 11. I was just about to get it. What you were saying, they oppress a man in his heritage. Yes, they are. Uh, they, they named their lands after okay, themselves. Okay, you mix it too up, but I get this. Oh, yeah. Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Right, so E system, how he has traded things, he thinks that he's going to be established upon the earth forever. You know, that's why you see these different movies 20, 20, 40, 20, 60. Yeah. So he thinks he's going to run around the earth and be established in wickedness forever. You know, yeah. he thinks he's going to continue on his legacy. Of ruling in wickedness and ruling over us and dominating the earth, how he's dominating the earth. So when you look at the, the, the uh, when you look at the, the the status of the earth, so to speak, it's true. There's no, there's, there's life will not be able to sustain itself on the earth the way this man is operating the earth. And even to back that up too, about the uh, they thinking that their house shall continue forever. Look at that recent Trump speech. Oh, uh, uh, what do you say? Mount Rushmore will never be destroyed. Uh, you know, we will never forget the accolades of, of these different people. Right. That's their thought. That's the thought of these people. Right. Okay. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. Uh -huh. They call their land after their own name. Ooh. So when after they oppress a man in his ter in his heritage, after they take a man's land, then. They call it after their own name. Right. We mentioned before the Black Greeks. Now, originally, the Greeks were, you can say they were they were a dark nation, right? Now, uh, in terms of, because uh, you have you got many dark nations, right? But they're not all the same. So, yeah, the Greeks were originally, they originally were a dark nation. The sons of Japheth. Yeah, the sons of Japheth. That would be like the Polynesians, your, your Hawaiians, you know? The sons of Japheth. And then, um, they, they basically went in there, conquered them, and kicked them, kicked them out of their own land and said that they were the Greeks. Right. You know? You said they were called the sons of what, brother? Uh -huh. You said they were called the sons of what? Sons of Jackson. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. Oh, that shit. I didn't know about that. Yeah. So you're saying those folks came through the Greek and took that over yeah. some shit, and that's how that became what we you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah, yeah. That, and that's, and you can see it patterned after what they do. They, uh, you know, they, they, they took over the land of Africa, what they, now they're the Africans. Uh, what is it? They're the South Africans. I South think they took over. Yeah. Now, now all of a sudden they act like they the people. Look at Egypt. They be, they put themselves as pharaohs. You see? And, and 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 then look at our look at our heritage. They put themselves up as the people of the Bible. You see? So this is a pattern that they go after. They take other people's lands, then they portray themselves to be those people. Right. You know, it's called the mystery of iniquity. Is what is what we refer to it as in the script. In the script. It says, uh, the scripture talk about even now that the mystery of iniquity does work. That was during the times of the Romans. And they were calling themselves the Greeks, but they weren't the original people. You see? Right. They were hiding their true heritage as being Edomites. In, uh, Jeremiah chapter, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance. Right, so the Lord is telling Jeremiah, even him himself, he's going to discontinue, out, uh, discontinue from his heritage, man. And his heritage is what? Being an Israelite. Okay, being an Israelite. Not only being an Israelite, being an Israelite, what? You got a, a custom that you follow. We had customs. Even if you might want to research, a lot of us, what they call us, the Latin, Latin speaking tribes or uh, 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 indigenous tribes, right? We kept this custom. The border of blue with the fringes, 
Where did that come from? Uh, can you give me numbers 15? Uh, somebody give me numbers 15, 38. Where, where did our people get that custom from? Right? Even when you look at today, on, on certain reservations or even in so, certain areas over there, in, in uh, th those states over there, uh, the islands, you'll see certain uh, older folks with this custom. Where did they get that from? Right? Well, go ahead, bro. This is Numbers 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel, mm -hmm. and and bid them, uh, and bid them, that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments, right. throughout their generations, uh -huh. and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, uh -huh. and it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart mm -hmm. and your own eyes. After which he used to go a whoring. Right. Show you how much of a devil this uh this, this Edomite is. You have seen the movie Pocahontas? Mm. Remember yeah, her sure. remember her skirt? Yeah. Remember that blue ribbon she had with the little the little fringes at the bottom? Right, right. These, these, these the people culture. know who we are, man. Right. Mm. You know, it's in plain it's hidden in plain sight, man. Hey, look at uh look at the so called Mexicans, man. They were partial. They got blue too. You know? So called uh they got the ribbon, the ribbon of blue and the fringes also, man. Yep. So on and so forth. Uh, this is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yep. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Uh -huh. If not, where and who is he? Now, by a limit, uh, process of elimination, who rules the planet Earth right now? Like, who has the global domination? That's the obvious. <laughs> the white man, but, the white man in the world. <laughs> but, sure. Right, but you say that's the obvious. Sure. Some of our people be like, oh, I don't know. We don't know. That's what they say. I, I don't know. It, oh, it can't be him. He's not just the only one. Like, what do you mean? His face right. is on the money. He, he, right. he has his military all around the world. Right. Okay? He's the one on top of everything. He, he, he says, he, he's the guy. Right? right. What they call him? He, he's, he's Don Corleone. Yeah. His word stands in the earth. When you go against his word, oh, it's on. It was called his establishment, the hammer of the whole earth. This place here, America, Babylon the Great, was like the hammer of the whole earth, like a big bully. Yeah. You know? Think about the petrodollar in OPEC. If you if you decide to step out of that, what happens to you? Let a, let a, let a leader come up and say, ah, we want to step away from the petrodollar. Oh, oh, seriously, oh, what, oh, 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 what happened oh, mysteriously oh, to these individuals? Oh, yeah. oh they got murk. Don Corleone, like you said. Say who could make war with the beast, man? But what Esau had to do to, to, to make the world believe that they did a good job and that that what they were supposed to do. Now what did he have to do? He had to do his parents to count. He had to publicize to the world as oh, these men are evil. These men are tearing down our country. They're uh, uh, making. They got uh, what they say. They got W. What they say? Uh, weapons of weapons mass destruction. You know, we don't want them to harm us. So what they did that. So now when. They got killed with the world say. Right? What did the world say? What, 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 did the, what did these Americans what did the Americans say? They were happy. People went enjoy when Osama bin Laden was killed, mm -hmm. when the doctor was killed. Right, man. Because hey, the white man, he has to he has to build a case against people, man. He has to get you to lie to you and get you to believe. That these people are evil. You have to demonize them before before he actually goes in and take people's land and destroy them. So that when, when they do it, there's no there's no opposition. You know? Yeah, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in the, in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. Right. So when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, right? But when the uh, the wicked uh, we say the wicked bear of rule, uh, the people mourn. Everybody around the earth is in, we're in, everybody's in the morning state, even before the pandemic. Yeah. Everybody's morning. Every, everyone, man. Wow, yeah, because we are not in authority. You know, yeah. the true leaders of the earth, the true governors of the earth are not ruling the earth. But why are we not ruling the earth? See, because we disobey the Lord. So that's why uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, it says it's seen on, um, it's seen a apprentice walking as servants, right? And a, and a servant upon horses, if I'm, if I'm saying that correctly. So who's the princess? Who's the princess of the power? Yasha Allah. See, when you speak of us as a nation, you would say, like Israel, we will be named Yasha Allah. 
in the Hebrew, meaning princes of the power. You see? So we're princes. But it says we were seen as princes. Princes is, is walking in circles. Right? So like, how about Ecclesiastes 7 and 7? I got a quick precept back in the mistake we made. About the rule seven shit. Seven? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, this is Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Okay, so just kind of going in. The rulers of the earth are completely against the Most High, no matter what they say. They're contrary to how you're really supposed to rule the earth. That's why the earth languishes, because of the rulers. Yep. Just showed you how wicked the rulership is. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, like it said. Right now, the wicked are authority, and that's why everything's jacked up. Plastic everywhere, animals poking in plastic, drowning in plastic, you know, so on and so forth. Go ahead. I got it. That's slot. Y'all quoted wrong. Ecclesiastes uh, 10, verse 7. Oh, you want to show him, bro? Yeah. All right. You want to read it? It's a physical manifestation right there, bro. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth now somebody give me that's president president somebody give me jeremiah was it jeremiah 50 i might get it 50 and 20. yeah yeah i might get it right but they really supposed to be i got it right even with this scripture it says uh Fifty one. Yeah, somebody got Judah and Israel was pressed together. Uh, what is that, 51 or 50? Uh, got it. Uh, Jeremiah 50, verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. So when it talks about the children of uh, Israel and the children of Judah, right, we were split. Two kingdoms, right after uh, who's that? King Solomon's son, real bum, right? Who was split during his reign? So the children of Judah will be Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, so-called Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians, and then the children of uh, the children of Israel will be Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh. So that's the Cubans, the North American Indians, the Colombians, the Uruguayans. Uh, uh, the, the Zebulonites, people of Zebulon, the Peruvians, yeah, Guatemalans, the ones of those that go back into Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Though. Hey, and, hey, if I may show this on the camera, man, when what he just read in um in Ecclesiastes, he's seen serv uh, service upon horses and princes walking upon the ground, man. That's a physical example right there. I believe that's uh, uh, Theodore Roosevelt. And he's on a high horse, man. Represent he he has power, man. And us walking on the ground, that's that's us in slavery, man. Right? Jude, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, Judah and, and Jerusalem are pressed together. Right? That represents Judah, and that represents Jerusalem, man. Okay? The neg uh, the Negroid uh, 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 tribes, and right? And then and then the indigenous tribes, man. Judah right. and Israel, right? Right. 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 Yep. Yep. So. Uh, yeah. What you got? Uh, Job 20 and oh, yeah, Isaiah yeah, yeah. 30. That's why I want to quote. Uh, Isaiah, back up that picture. Okay, the Lord ruled up in the kingdom of men yeah, and he I, set it up over it, the basis of men. Okay, and that's what that represents too. The Lord took the lowest form of, of individual and put them above everything, man. You know, the scriptures talk about how back in the past, man, that uh, Job said he would, he would not have let them sit with his dogs. Why is that? Because you see what they do with animals. You see what wickedness they work with these animals, man. You know, dog, women marrying dogs. Man, it's so it's so nasty. They got dog dildos. These people are freaking nasty, man. They got they got dog brothels. Right. They're, what is it's about like eleven or fifteen states that got dog brothels? What? Hey, yeah. The most I have put the basis, lowest form of individual at the no top problem. of everything, man. And, and, and bro, don't believe what we saying. Look it up, I man. Sure, it, it's sure. it, it's 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 he's a, he's a madman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about they be putting skirts and, and heels on dogs. But this dude is crazy, man. You know? He, even they got the picture. Uh, uh, they got an older man. He's about in his 50s with a young girl. They was having a little tea party. He was saying, you can't tell me 
Uh, you can't tell, basically, you can't tell me my age. Yeah. To me, I'm a child. Well, come on, man. Yeah. You having a tea party with a four-year-old? Yeah, yeah. You know oh, is that it? How, how many states is it? Legal, uh, legality of bestiality in the United States. Can you all, uh, can put you put the, the phone on the camera? camera? You ain't got to get in a bit of just put the phone. Look at that, man. Look at all them states, man. That's fine. Right. Legality of bestiality in the United States. Yeah, wow. Bro. So, yeah, because people, that's people great. think it's like, let me see that. Yeah, because people think we'll be just, we just, we just be talking like, oh, they just make that's up these shit. things. You know what I'm saying, bro? We ain't making this up, man. This that's is great. real, man. This is reality. Right. Hey, and they even had laws and legislations passed to where, oh, it's not. It's not abuse of animals if there's no penetration. It's crazy. Right. What's, and, what's the, and the different colors on that uh, map show you the different severity of it. Right. It was two states where it's completely legal. That's the green. Then there's other ones where it's just a misdemeanor. And there's other ones where it's slightly elevated and it's a felony. The scriptures say that you're supposed to be put to death. You and that animal. If you lay with that animal, you're supposed to be put to death, man. They even got American territories where they'll show you. Long and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a person like that, you, you, you got to get put out of power, man. You know? Now, we know slowly but surely it's coming. So when they make statements talking about they're going to, uh, they basically want to establish their kingdom forever and ever, but I ain't going to happen. Because we know the Heavenly Father is about to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, about to destroy this place, man. And all the wicked that's, wickedness that's therein. You know? Because this place has to go, you know, people have, we have children, right? We have children, and when it comes to the point where you can't even, it's to the point where you can't even tell uh, another man, a grown individual, to, to not basically rub against your child or, you know, look at your child in, in, in like, you know, a, a, a weird sexual flirtatious manner because you'll get in trouble. Come on, man. Like, but people, but people see nothing wrong with this going on. You know, but, but but these same people will demonize R. Kelly, right? For having women that's 18, 17, 16, which according to the scripture are biblically of age because they're women, according to the Bible. But you're telling me that uh, an, an adult don't care how old they are; they can be 14. Can, can you know? Do things with a, with, a, with a child. We're talking about a child. Babies, man. They got to get put out of power. And, and anybody that's down with that, got to go, man. Because we don't stand for that. Hey, you know, we got, we got this guy named uh, 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 Epstein. What's his name? Epstein, 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 man. Epstein yeah. yeah. Got his own island in, in, in the Caribbean, bro. Yeah. Where, where, where basically, they, they pop in little kids, man. Yeah. And then you got all kinds of celebrities that go and do that yeah, shit, man. Yeah. yeah. And the only reason why they outed Epstein because Epstein probably was about to flip and too much information was getting leaked out. That's the only reason why they silenced him. There's no way, man. Well, before he killed himself, 24 hours before he killed himself, 48 hours before he killed himself, they had news about Prince Andrew. Yeah. That picture with that 15-year-old girl, yeah. his friend Prince Andrew, that came out the next day Prince Andrew did that interview. He was talking that crazy shit, like I have a disorder where I sweat, I don't sweat, so it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then the next day he died. Yeah, they did. You can look that up. Yeah, yeah. You can look that up. Yeah. yeah. You know, but you know, and, he, and, and when people might hear us on the street, uh, somebody give me a uh, Ezekiel Nabbers for about what you Because people may, the image that they put about us, I don't know if you may heard us, do you ever hear about Ezekiel Nabbers like before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm listening a little, I'm from Jersey. You know what I'm oh, saying? so yeah, we yeah, have yeah, brothers yeah. all I answer BK all of them and shit like that. Okay, I yeah, yeah. Different different things, you know what I'm saying, that I listen to out of interest. You know, I like right. to I like to to learn different shit when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm always open to listening to different tribes and different camps whenever they have things to say. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you because you feel turned right now. Right, right. I'm just listening for sure, for sure. You know I'm I'm not somebody that's completely educated. But I'm somebody okay. that's always open to listen or some shit, you know what I'm saying, for sure. Like you should, you know, and, uh, you know, the image that they put out about it, they say, oh, you know, they're just mad men screaming out of talk of talk of their lungs, you know, you know, they're, they're just, which the scriptures say, be, be angry and sin not, you know, but we have the right to be vexed. We have the right to be angry at these different things we see, man. 
you know, we, we don't act upon it, but we're allowed to speak upon it, you know, and, and talk about it, man. Because we, 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 this is reality up here, man. We're the real newscasters, right? We're, 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 we're the real uh, watchmen. We're the real prophets. Because we speak about all that, the things that our people are afraid to do and won't do. Go ahead, bro. Right. Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of all of all the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's what we're doing. We're sighing and crying at all the abominations that is done in the midst thereof. When you, when you go into the word abominable or abomination, it goes basically, this is a hateful thing before the Most High, man. You see? So we're basically crying out of the things that is hateful uh, before the Most High that he, that he doesn't take pleasure in. You see? But the rest of the world and their comfortability, right, or taught by the precepts and men, as their brother, brother brought out, it's completely normal to them and it doesn't bother them. Okay? But according to the Bible, according to the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right, hey, hey that doesn't fly with him. You know? So we're, we're crying out, you know, at the things we see and that we're vexed with. Because now, hey, we're with uh, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the Spirit. So it affects us too. We like, well, wait a minute. This ain't supposed to be like this. This ain't normal. It ain't I supposed to be like that? You know what I mean? So now our spirit is kind of uh, round up, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Our our spirit gets stirred up, and um, you know, like the, like the scripture said, that we sigh and we cry, man. There's always things that come that come along that you look at it and you're just like, God damn. You know what I mean? They just Throw up your hands, you sigh about it, you let out that heavy breath, like, we gotta get up out of here. Or we uh, or we may uh, cry aloud, you know what I'm saying, and, and rebuke these different things on the streets, you know what I'm saying? Because who, the scriptures say, who will stand up for me against the evil doer? That's, mm -hmm. That's the one you got right now? I ain't read it, brother. Psalms 94 and 16, who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Mm. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Right. So, hey man, we, we stand up for the most high against the evildoers and, and the workers of iniquity. Okay, and likewise, we hoping that the Lord will stand up for us against the evildoers and the workers of iniquity. See, hey, now the Most High don't have to do it. Just because you, you think you're seeking the Most High, He don't have to, you know, answer you or, or do things for you. He have He chooses to do these things, you know? But if you reject the Most High, He's gonna reject you. So we do these things in hope that we may be saved. And scripture says you are bought without a price. Right. You see? And this is our reasonable service, so we can't be like, you know, uh, you know. Uh, basically, this is something that we're supposed to be doing anyway. Yeah. You can't go to a job and be like, you know, complaining about certain things because you're going to that job to do the criteria that they want you to do. Yeah. Okay. So you can't you can't go and do the do the minimum that's required of you and expect a gold star pat on the back. And you, I need a raise. Hey, what you supposed to be? Or saying I'm, I'm doing my job. A uh, duh. <laughs> yeah, I did my job today, sir. I did exactly what you told me to do. All right, nigga, you get your check like everybody else. Get out my own. You know? But still right, say when I when I'm done, I, I, I shall uh, say that I have been an unprofitable service. You know? Basically mean, hey, I, that's what I was supposed to do. If I may add, you know, real quick. Like legal, bro. Uh, you know, we getting a we getting a reward for doing this work, and the Lord didn't have to give us no reward for this. We went off. This is Romans 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is what is that good, that acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. Right. So hey, this is this is this a reasonable service, man. This is this is this it's only reasonable for us to do this, man. You know, the Lord the Lord have mercy on us to, to be able to receive this knowledge, man. So this is this is this is what we make we're making our bodies a living sacrifice as, as we speak, man. Okay? You may see us on the camera, but we going through we got different things that we have to sacrifice in our life just to make videos, just to read scriptures, you know, just to uh, help brothers out in different situations, man. Right? This is how we do service, man. You know? And, and plus, hey, we got, basically we got to sacrifice our life, man. We sacrifice our time so that we can learn and teach, man.
know, that's what we're commanded to do. Like, it's like the Lord said, feed my sheep. I want, I want to go into, uh, I want to go into that, uh, as you present your bodies as a living sacrifice for a place. Psalms 4, verse 5, it says, Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. Okay, so what we're doing is we're offering sacrifices of righteousness. See? We're doing our reasonable service and, and giving that, that that offering that the Lord wants. That that sweet smell. Okay? Doing, doing what pleases the Lord. You know? And, and uh, you know, making that a, a prayer to the Lord and all those things like that. You know? But if you're giving that, that rotten smell to the Lord, the Lord, he's going to be disgusted with that, man. You know, not saying that the Lord can't do certain things for you, which you could, you know. But ultimately, you know, if you're not a part of the elect, you ain't in a good case. Really? Really, the Lord just keeping you to be destroyed. Because when you go to Proverbs 16 and 4, it says, uh, All wicked was, what is it? Uh, the, the wicked was created for the day of evil. Proverbs 16 and 4. Because a lot of people, you know, believe that just because they're not getting judged yet, you know, just because, you know, they're still here, they think, you know what, hey, you know, I'm cool, I'm good, I ain't got nothing to worry about. But, well, wait a minute, the Lord could be keeping you for something, for something, uh, horrific. Hor yeah, horrific. Hey, man, like, hey, your brother just did a testimony about how he had a vision, all right, he had a dream about uh, uh, the Viathan, man. Yeah. Right, how he was in the building and he opened up his mouth and tentacles started searching out the building, right? Wrapping him, wrapping himself around, people pulling him out and eating him, bro, right? And then it came to him, right? And it, it, it started inspecting him, and then it went to somebody else, man. And it, you know, he had that, he had yeah, that, uh, yeah, that protection, that, that mark, man, that the exemption walk. from judgment, walk, man. Bro. That's like, uh, uh, that made me think of, uh, what's that movie you saw, Kevin, with the Predator? When he would go to, I don't know, yeah. a certain person and would turn away, I don't know, like, I don't know who the person was who used to do that to. But, like, he used to just eat everybody else. And then it was like, I remember seeing the scene where it was one person that looked at him and then it did kept it moving. Like, uh, just kept it moving, man. Hey, but the Lord's about to bring some horrific stuff, man. Yeah. Like, Leviathan, the way the bro described it in the dream, he was like, it's, it's, it, it, it has Godzilla beat, man. You know? So, there's some scary stuff the Lord's about to bring to the earth, man. And, and we, we we're praying and hoping that the work that we're doing is going to be pleasing unto the Lord, okay, that we may be able to elect and be exempt from all these different things going on. But it's not of works that any man should boast. Yeah. You got that? You got something first? Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. That's right, man. Even the wicked for the day of evil. So. Basically, is that that right there is letting you know people are are already reserved for judgment. They're just they're just 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 they're just being what, what, what's the, what they want uh, what marinated so to speak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Being yeah. nice and soaked is it, it, because as the scripture says, what they're going to be as fuel for the fire. Uh -huh. So they're being just nice and soaked up, like you know, they yeah, make they, them nice and they soaking in their sins, man. Ooh. So when the Lord put the fire on them, man, it's gonna be a harsh judge. Woo! I like it. Yeah, or, I like or, they, or like the suckling pig, they fattening them up. Fattening them up. Fattening them for the slaughter, hey, bro. So what does it say, uh, slay the fatted calf? Uh -huh. When it talks about having like a feast or whatever? Yeah, man. You know hey, what I'm hey, saying? They getting ready for that second. What does scripture say? It says, my people are led as a, as a, as a sheep to the slaughter, man. Yeah. I got that, uh, I got a precept back in number one. He just read Peter, uh, 2 Peter 2 and 9. The Lord know of how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. So, hey, you know, hey, in Romans 9 it says, the most high uh, suffer long, the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. Okay? And, uh, you know, two-thirds of the house of Israel are going to receive the punishment that was really set up for these, these Edomites, man. These so-called white people. But a lot of our people are going to find themselves worthy of that same judgment. So I got, the, I got a precept about what we were talking about earlier. Luke 17 and 7. So which of you having a servant, like I said, it's not of works. Which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him, by and by when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meet. Well, well, well done. Let's go eat. Let's go have a feast. You know? 
and will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. If you have a hired servant, he on the clock, you ain't gonna tell him to go take a, like, yeah, come sit next to me, bro. I know I need to be served and fed, I'm paying you, but go, go, go sit down. Now you can eat. He eats his own, somebody might eat. But a typical thing's how it goes, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna make sure he's doing his job, you know? And we're not, uh, uh, verse 9, does he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I think not. So likewise, when you shall have done all these things which are commanded, you say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. So this is our reasonable service. This is our reasonable service to, to come out here, uh, bear the elements, bear the indignation of our people, the hatred that we get, okay, being the number one. We're, we're public enemy number one right now. Because we're chanting down this society. These people, we're on their radar, they know, you know? Because we're, 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 we're spelling out the demise. This is the thing they fear, is us coming back to our power because once all the elect are sealed, this place is done, you see? But what we're doing is, is what we're required to do, that we may have a chance at salvation. It's the least we can do for what the children of Israel did to the Most High, you know? We were like an adulterous woman to the Most High. You see, we literally stepped out and came back. You know what I'm saying? And the, the feeling was different. You know, you got you smell funny. What the fuck? What you doing? What you doing in my house? Where you been? You acting funny? Yeah. Somebody else done humbled you? Wait a minute now. Well, who, who the fuck is Deontay? What you mean? You know what I mean? And so that's how we were to the most high. We were his beautiful, comely wife that had only been touched by him. Then we came back to foul. Now he's looking like you want to come back? Now you don't fuck all my trust up. You got to prove something. You see? So that's where we are. That's the least we can do to show the Lord that we really care. That we really want that approval. You see? So hey, it's a reasonable service. Three, this is the least we can do. You see? So we can't brag about that. We got to do what we got to do. And I pray that it's acceptable. And that'll talk to you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, back you up because you said uh, we talking about our reasonable service. This is the book of 1 Corinthians. Ooh, you know what a book is. Fresh, you can't even turn the page. Where is me? It says, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you? Which ye have of the most high, ye are not of your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify the most high in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Right, so you are the temple of the most high. The scriptures say the most high, the, tab the tabernacle is with men, okay? The most high spirit dwells within us, okay? And this is why he wants your temple to be a certain way. That's why the one you always quote, which you said, uh, Wisdom should not dwell in a malicious soul. Yeah, no, or no on, the, on the soul that's subject unto sin. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, you know, we have to be clean for the Most High to dwell in us. The Most High likes cleanliness. Right. Right. He wants to be. Uh, the scriptures talk about when an unclean spirit leaves from the man, the spirit is trying to get back in. Okay, when he come back, he find it empty, uh, uh, clean, yeah. swept, and garnished. Okay, because you get cleaned out from that evil spirit, you're clean. But now you have to fill it with the Most High. Even when dealing with can you give me Psalms 119 real quick? Ephesians 5 real quick? Because when you're dealing with, because I want to go into that, because when you deal with holy, right? People have this, <laughs> when, when you think of holy, people have this like, the thought is just like, I, I can't even think of the word. Well, that, like, yeah, when they say holy, it, it's, it's, it's not what they, they don't really understand holy. Because holy, when it says we are holy, right? Because it says we're a holy nation, right? We're a holy nation. But we're what? We're a separate nation. To be holy, holy to be separate. Yeah. You know? To be set apart. To be set apart. Right? To be set apart. But you got Psalms 119. 119. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. It said, this is Psalms 119 in verse 9. Right. Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Uh -huh. By taking heed thereto according to the what to thy word. Right. So that's how we cleanse our way when people talk about true baptism. True baptism is what? Word. This is what truly cleanses you. See? 
The war is what truly cleanses you. So what did it say again, bro? Salah. Psalms 119.9. Beth, wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way? So how a young man going to cleanse his way? You know, what someone might say, well, how can I get my act together? How can I start to cleanse my way? We're going to point them to the, to, to the scriptures. Go ahead. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought, sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Now, let me not wander from thy commandments. Now, when you go to Proverbs 21, verse 16, it says, uh, He that remain, uh, he, he that the wander, the water, bro, he that wander out of the way of understanding shall, wait, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. See, and that's what happens a lot of our people because you wander about from what? Your understanding. This, because this is where it's at, believe it or not. All right, Ephesians 5 and 26. John 17 and uh, John 15 and 3. Was, uh, Ephesians 5 and 26. That he may that he might be sanctified and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Nah, so you get cleansed by the washing of water with the word. As a matter of fact, I believe it says that uh, I indeed baptize you with water, which is John speaking of Yahweh Shah. You got it? Okay. But, the, but he that comes after me, whose who bootstrap I am not worthy to unlatch, shall uh, cleanse you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay, and the Holy Spirit brings to remembrance what? These scriptures. Now, maybe I'm roughly paraphrasing. I may have been off a word or two. But like the scripture said, that he may cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. This is how you truly get cleansed. By filling your temple with the words of Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shah. This is how you seek the most high faith. You put, you put this into you. And you try to retain it. You see? Might I add, right? We're talking about being holy, being separate, right? Cleaning yourself up through, through this word is what? This is how you become separate. This is how you become not conformed to the world and the ways of this world where you like, you know, where, where you start to look at things like, nah, nah, I ain't going to like You know what I'm saying? Like, that's when you start, the vexation start to come into things like, talk about being not a friend to the world. It says friendship with the world is enmity with the Most High, meaning you become an enemy to the Most High. So, you start looking at the things that the world does, and you, you filter it through the scriptures. This is like your, your water filter, you know? You get all the impurities out so that you can, what comes out the other end is it's drinkable and good for you, okay? So, when, you, when something comes in, you filter it, and then you, you purge out all the, all the bull crap, you know? And you begin to, uh, you know, hate, and eventually, if you become a, uh, in, in, the, in the truth and start uh, preaching, you reprove the works of darkness. Mm. You see, not only do you filter them out, you begin to reprove them and correct them. with 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 first person being yourself. Right. You know, you might start having wicked thoughts and, and different different things. You might be about to do, and then you like, wait a minute. Scripture say this. Not saying you might not fall a few times, but. You which you will. It's about getting back up and saying, you know what? I'm gonna try harder next time. I, I can't, I can't fall that same way. You know, to the eventually till you stop. Ah, that's one down. I got more to go to the Lord. Come about that fight, that draft. Um, go ahead, bro. You got that John, right? John 15 and three. Three. That's it. Um. That's what you had. Uh, this is back you up real quick. How you get that? I got it. Corinthians 10 and 5. Matter of fact, it's a little bit more of that. Yeah, good. This, is, this is John 15 and verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word. It's a lot. Start over. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, of, of itself. Except it abide in the in the vine. Right, that's the point. That's yeah, the point. Yes. You are clean to the word which I have spoken unto you. you. See, so this this word is the true makes you clean. This word is the true baptism. John 17, verse 17, it says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So this is the truth, man. Thy word, man. Because this is what cleanses us, you know. If I may, if I may go into that word uh, sanctify, yeah, 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 right. And I just looked it up. I looked up the word holy, which um, in the Hebrew was kadosh, right. And that's coming off the scripture. Uh, uh, 
you ride in chapter 4, I believe in verse 6, or verse 7, it's a lot. But it means set apart, okay, sacred, okay? Because when you think about it, something something that's set apart from everything else, nothing else can be contaminated, nothing else can make it filthy, you know? Our, our people, we were created to be a holy people, separate from all these other nations, man. But what's, what's, what's the thing that makes us separate? Mm -hmm. The law. Mm -hmm. The law, man. That's right. The words of the Most High. Just like you said, sanctify them through that truth, man. Okay? Holy and uh, being sanctified, it means the same thing. So we're gonna get that in uh, etymology, which right. is the origin of the word, man. Right. right. That's just like you. You uh, you got four four kids in the house. You ain't gonna grab the youngest one to, to watch over the uh, the older one. You gonna you gonna give the older one the separate rules like all right, make sure they do this this and this, and you hold it down. You gonna separate them and make them over the younger one. So you gonna give them what? The rules, the orders. The discipline, the wisdom, not, not wisdom, but the discipline, the instruction, right. which ultimately the, the Lord gave us to make us separate. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, and, and the wisdom too. Yeah, well, and the wisdom too. Hey, if somebody right. comes to the door, oh yeah, don't open that mouth. Right, you hey, right. You know, hey, answer the phone when I call you. Hey, right. look, Ray Ray got to go to bed at ten, but she, you know, Shay Shay can go to bed at eleven because it's the weekend, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Give them certain guidelines and rules. Hey, I, I put this food, put it in the oven on this temperature, or hey, throw it in the microwave because I don't want y'all to not use the oven. Y'all can eat this, y'all can't eat that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's a, you give them the rules too. But, but you're going to separate that though. Before you leave, you're going to be like, all right, John John is in charge. Right. Exactly. You're going to make it known. Y'all yep. listen to him when I'm gone. That's right. And if he give me a bad report, I'm coming back and I'm, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm putting that I'm belt on, to I'm that ass. I'm on that ass. <laughs> you know? Right. Jesus. And then, and then it's like, then it's like John John. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right. And then you're like, John John is like, and if you screw up, and you don't do what I tell you to do, which, that's what we did. You don't tell, you don't do what I tell you to do, and you just let it be buck wild, and you throwing house hard, and you let everything going on. Yeah, you gonna get it worse than them. You gonna get it worse. I put you in charge. Right. Oh, right. But that's the story. I behind. trusted you, nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you gonna get it worse. That's the story behind Israel, bro. Right? We was set up, made holy, righteous above all the nations, right? And then we went off. And we went off. Yeah, we we, we the teachers of the nations. Uh -huh. But then we go off. Just like John John. I, I gave you I gave you roll over the household for the weekend. And you couldn't hold it down? Following after the kids. For, the DJ what? Following after the kids. Following after the kids. You following after the kids, nigga. Uh, I can't even leave you in the crib for two days. Ain't you the oldest? That's <laughs> what we did, bro. Right. I gave y'all the wisdom. Y'all supposed to teach the nations. Uh, they learn from you. Hey, man, what does the scripture say? Job says what? He that is younger than I. Mm -hmm. Talking about who? The so-called white man. Yeah. Okay, Esau. All right? It says uh, uh, women are the oppressors and children rule over them, man. Right. You still got it. Oh, uh, but he had it though. He had it. <laughs> man. But yeah, man, going into that word sanctified, man. Sanctified them through thy truth. Uh, it, from, it comes from the 14th century. It says, uh, scientifi, uh, it says to consecrate. The old French, Saint Scientifier, I'm saying it how, how I think it's pronounced. Uh, I don't speak French. It says sanctified. Uh, it says from late Latin, sanctificare. To make holy, right? We just got that word holy means to make separate, right? So that's what sanctify means, to make, to make separate. It says, from sanctus, holy. And then it says, see, saint. So who are the saints, right? Who were made holy, okay? Who was made holy by the word of the Most High? What nation, okay? Was it every nation? Was it the Chinese, right? Was it the Japanese? Okay? Do they have customs and laws that are contrary to everybody else's? Because really, in a nutshell, when you think about it, all these other nations, they serve the same gods, okay, in different names. Bro, I got big, I, I got like four precepts. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showed up his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them, Praise ye the Lord. Right, man. So only the Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, 
okay, have received the, the, the words of the Most High, okay, have been given the, 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 uh, the guidelines for how to govern the earth, man, mm -hmm. how to rule and, and exist upon the earth, okay? So we were we were made that holy nation, man, okay? We were, we were sanctified through the words, man. Right. Yeah. Uh, yo, bring your thought. Bring your thought. Amos, Amos 3. That's the whole chapter. Amos 3 and 1. Come. Hear this word that Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel. O who? O children of Israel. Come. He was speaking to who? <laughs> the children of Israel. Right. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Now, if you, if, are you familiar with the story of, of us being in Egypt? Or, or the story of Moses? Exodus. The Exodus. Somewhere, not really right. Okay, now Exodus. I'm about to say Exodus. Now Moses went to the Pharaoh and what did he say to the Pharaoh? Let my people go. Let, let, let my people go. Right. Right. right? Which his people were the Israelites. So what, what did the Lord say? Hear this word that I have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Right, using Moses. Moses brought us up out of the land of Egypt. Right, go ahead. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. No way. There's no way that's in the Bible. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Out of all the families of the earth, all these nations. I wish I could take that off. Out of what? Eight, was 18 nations. You only chose one nation. Believe it or not, this is that one nation. All these people want to say. One race of people, man. Really, we're one race. See? But through divide and conquer, he made it to look like we're all just separation of people. But really, when you look at us, well, we all the same. We all do the same thing. We all eat the same thing. We all the same. We might switch it up a little bit of a different style with the flavor a little yeah, bit. The Lord likes variations. But we're all the same. Well, then now, we all, we all the same, man. You know? Amos 3 and 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquity. So what did you say his name was? John John. Now we get back to that John John analogy. I only knew, hey bro, I talked to you. I ain't had this conversation with them. I brought you in the room and told you how you should operate when I leave the house. So well, now, well, well you should use, you should use uh, uh, say John John invited some friends over and now use the friends as the example of, I'm not talking to the friend. I told you, so how you want to tell the, how you want to let the friend open the door when I gave you the rule not to open the door? You see what I'm saying? Not the yeah. kids, yeah. but John John's friend. Right. Right. That's a poke ass homeboy come over, you gonna let him take rule. Hey man, I was just, I was just watching uh, Boys in the Hood the other day, bro. The, the, the dude, uh, the dude, uh, what's his name? Basically, the one with the father? With the father, bro. Uh, he wanted to go out and because he got shot, man. Yeah. He was like, no, nah, you need to you need to you need to put the gun down, man. Because you my son. Right? You my son. You're not about to go out there and do that. So you know, it's, it's, it's the same thing with the most high in Israel. We're his sons, man. His sons and his daughters. Okay? And he gave us uh, he gave us orders to to, to, to appear by, man. So and he wasn't talking to the rest of the nation, man. So that's why we going through what we're going through, man. Because we disobeyed his command. Ooh. Yeah, you said you had a picture. Right. Second Edges 5 and 56. As for the other people which which also come in it's like start at 54. Uh second edges 5 and 54. And after these, Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also who whom thou hast chosen. Right, so we all come from, from Adam. Okay. Adam was made from the dust. But so you're going to find other nations that look similar to, you know, they, they melanated, so to speak. They have a dark skin tone, got melanin. That don't mean nothing. All of us come from Adam and the people also that thou hast chosen. Mm. So you made a separation. Hey, even in the, in the beginning, it talks about when he divided to the nations their lands, he separated the borders of the nations according to the children of Israel. So the most I already knew from the beginning, they look, man, this is going to be the land of Israel. I'm just going to put Canaan right there for right now. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Verse 55. All this have I all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing, but like unto spittle, 
and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from the vessel. So right, so that backs up what I just said. He said he made us the world for our sakes, right? Now as for the other nations, he said that, that the Lord have said they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. Can somebody get that uh, uh, nations are as a small dust of the balance? Isaiah, uh, what is what in Isaiah 40 and 15? So as for the other nations, okay, they are nothing but be like unto spittle. You hawk a loogie, you spit it. You're not going to chase that loogie down. Right. If somebody step on it, you're going to be mad. Right. You're not going to be like, damn, you just messed your shoe up. Right. <laughs> you ain't worried about the loogie. you worried about the jays that stepped, right. that stepped on the loogie. Right. You see? So that's, a, that's, an, yeah. that's an analogy for these other nations, man. Right. They be like unto nothing but spittle. You got that? You said 40, 40, 40 and 15 is one, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. Right, so behold, the nations are as nothing and are counted as the small dust of the balance. When you have a balance, it has a counterweight that you set on it. And then when you, you know, it's a, if you look at a Liebert scale, it has a counterweight, and then you put weight on the other side until it balances itself out so that you know you have a proper weight. He said it's like the small dust of the balance. What type of weight you got that weighs small dust? Right. You don't have to. Now the damn scale itself is heavier than that. So they don't even register on the scale. You know, because they didn't have digital scales back then. They had the Liebert weight-based scale. So they were the dust on it. Even now with a digital scale, you get a couple of flakes or something on it, it ain't gonna even say point one. Right. You know, you gotta get so many flakes before it say point one. Right. So they the small dust, and they are nothing and less than nothing. I think it even says that. The heathen are nothing and are counted less than nothing. I think verse 17. Mm -hmm. It says, all nations before him are as nothing, mm -hmm. and they are counted to him less, less than, than nothing. nothing. And what, vanity. What is less than nothing? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on, man. laughs> yeah. No, you already ain't got nothing to begin with, and they less than that. Yeah. Come on, man. So, so how so how the Lord gonna have turn this big 180 and start gaining compassion for something that don't don't even really exist in? Hey, doesn't, Come on, uh, man. doesn't the scripture say the works of the Lord are, are forever? Right. So if the Lord started from the beginning saying these nations ain't shit, I am gonna make them to not be shit because I want them, right? And then He made the Israelites. Oh, these are the most valuable uh, uh, spirits in existence, man. And they're going to remain that way. The Lord's not going to change his mind. The scripture says, uh, 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 I'm the Lord and I change not, man. So the Lord's not changing his people. He's not adding value to something that he didn't ascribe value to. You right? Like, uh, can, uh, 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 can a, can a leopard change his spots? spots? Right? So same thing with Esau, man. He's always going to be with him. That's how the Lord made him. Yep. I, got a, I got a precept back in the bro up. James 1 and 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So if there's no variableness, he ain't wishy-washy. He ain't, uh, you know, he ain't gonna change his mind. He ain't, ain't no shadow of turning. Don't even think about turning. He made a covenant with the Israelites. He ain't gonna break that. Ain't no way. So these same people that's less than nothing, how he gonna turn if it say ain't no variableness and no turning, and then and pull an audible? He gonna pull an audible and then he gonna he gonna throw he gonna throw eat him in the mix. Get in there, eat him. I'll choose you next. <laughs> it don't happen that way. No, right. ain't no variableness, man. He ain't, he ain't calling no audible, man. The nations ain't nothing. They never will be nothing. They always gonna be less than nothing, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. You know. Precept. This is Deuteronomy four and verse one. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live and go and possess the land which the Lord Yahweh of your fathers giveth you. Right, so even going to well, given given a land. He was given a way to live, he was given a custom, man. How to keep the land, you know? With more than how to keep the land, how to treat each other, you know. All those different things. The Lord gave us all that. He gave us the, the uh the instruction uh, book. Uh, jumping down to verse 5, and it says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, 
for this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people for what nation is there so great who hath Yahweh so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for right. Right. this is our wisdom in the sight of the nation why because the more you the more you learn about the law that's in the commandments you learn about how the earth operates you realize it's the best way to operate you know you need to let the land rest so that it replenishes nutrients so that you get better fruit you know what i mean you don't need to eat a, a pork because they don't have sweat glands and they retain all them damn toxins in their body just when you get scientific with it okay but rather rather than uh you know put our people on the side and all the rebellious rather than listen to the most high you want to do what they want to do the Lord set these things up for a reason. You know, a lot of these, uh, you know, like another side note, a lot of these animals, raccoons, bears, you gotta treat that meat certain way because it's funky and nasty and dirty because it ain't meant for you to eat it, man. Okay? But this is our wisdom in the sight of the nations who will see these and say, man, hey, how did you know how to do that? How did you know to do that to the, to the land and, and to operate and to bury your waste and do all that? How did you know that? It had to be from above. Right. How did, how did you get your land, your, your crops to grow like that? Exactly. We've been trying to solve our life looking for the way. What did you do? Right, right. Uh, hey. I, gave, I gave the land a time to rest. The land said, it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, and I always run like this example when uh, she went in Solomon, bro. She was so awestruck from the order and, 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 the, and the riches and the plentifulness of the land that she she, she almost she, she down there passed out, bro. Mm -hmm. right. Because Solomon had he he had everything established through the law, man. He was he was ruling. Uh, uh, in, uh, uh, he was he was doing things the most effective way possible, man. Order. And, and they call uh, even a lot of us, right? You know, uh, North, uh, Gadites and Reubenites. You know, and I, I pretty I know the other tribes did it as well. Because when you got a certain area of land, like when you look to build houses, you look for land you can grow crops on. You can see that in a lot of time with ancient movies. The first thing is, okay, is there water nearby, right? How is the land? Because you're thinking about what? Growing crops, having a good foundation of earth or soil to grow upon. That was very needful. Now, it's not thought of now because you know, this devil put because cement, the grocery store. cement every, yeah, the grocery store. You know what I'm saying? So when a brother was talking about, well, yeah, you know, Land Sabbath to help replenish the earth. All those was good, man. Even if you're looking to build a house and you want to say, I want some land and I want farm. The first thing is going to be like, okay, is there water nearby? Or can I create a well somewhere I can make a well? Or is there someone where I can grow nice crops and someone for my cattle to, you know what I'm saying? Certain things. All that was very important. And as the brother said, that was our wisdom, man. Yeah. You know, and, and a lot of times, that's, we, we moved to to let that, uh, uh, that that piece of land rest. So we just keep moving spots until we come back to the heart, had enough time to rest properly. Now we can uh, uh, farm, on, farm on it again. Yeah, yeah that's oh. it, man. Oh. You know, this is our wisdom inside of the nation. We got some more. Yeah, this, uh, this last one. Finish by the close of the rain. Finish. In verse 8. And what nation is there so great that have statues and judgments so righteous as all the law which I set before you this day? No, that was it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. So, hey, like, 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 like the scripture said, man, this is like, you know, the Native Americans and you people that this resonates with your spirit. You may look like another nation. More than likely, you are Israelite, man. You better repent because the time draws not, man. You, all you meek of the earth seek meekness, seek righteousness. Yeah, it brother, may be that you game. may be protected. In that day, man. What you got, uh, uh, Zephaniah yeah, 2? Zephaniah 2 and 3? Because it's about to pour down and we're going to close out. All right. Zephaniah 2 and 3, Bubba Kishore. But that's a beautiful one right there. Yeah, Zephaniah. Mark your verse 2. Make sure I got it. Zephaniah 2. And verse 3. Well, it's like. All right. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, mm -hmm. which have wrought his judgment. Right. Hey, you brought the judgment, you know, the, the, the curses, man. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Right. So, hey, seek the most high with your whole heart. Repent. Turn away from your sins. Okay. And it may be that you'll be protected. You don't know. 
But at least you can seek that forgiveness, right, right. man. And you want to be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. The Lord, the, the day of the Lord, the day of wrath, man. Yeah. You see, because hey, the Lord got a fierce vengeance coming upon this place, man. You know, a fierce vengeance. So hey, if you're a father out there, right? Even even a mother, you know what I'm saying? You wanna you wanna try to hey raise your kids up in the best you could, man. The law sets his commandments. Or you or you the father, right? Because it all comes to you. You the you. You the leader of the household. Do what you need to do to try to have your family be saved, man. You see? Okay, so with that, we're gonna give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hope of the elect and the Bible Paul. A Bible Paul. A Bible Paul. A Bible Paul. A Bible Paul. Shalom. Shalom.